Let's conduct a PLR site review. I have a good one for you guys. We're going to take a look at PLR Beach and we're going to use my handy dandy checklist to make sure that they meet the expectations that we have on this channel about PLR sites. So if you're new to me, welcome. I'm Sharita Deloach. And on this channel, I talk about how to turn your skills into cash by providing passive income tips for writers, publishers, authors, and creatives. So if you love this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this video, and hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Now, if you haven't already and you're not on my email list, you should be. You should actually be a part of my newsletter where I send three quick and valuable resources for writers, publishers, authors, and creators help you to elevate your digital publishing game every weekday okay come and join it's for free i've been hearing great reviews about it my students been telling me that they love it they gather all the tips and the tools they put it on their spreadsheet so they know when to take action so monday through friday at 9 25 a.m eastern standard time why because that's my birthday i sent out that email okay so go ahead and join i put the link in the description now did y'all know that i launched my 10th book i did power publishing secrets how to write your book fast. I'm sharing my methodology and my secrets to writing, writing books fast. This is book number one in my book series, Power Publishing Secrets. So go ahead and grab the first one. I put the link in the description. We have it on Amazon. You can get the digital copy as well as the print. All right. So let's go on over here to PLR Beach. Okay. I first discovered um, this website here at PLR Beach. I think it was back maybe about a month or so ago, I discovered this website. And I said, you know what? Let me take a look at PLR Beach, see what they have going on because we love PLR over here. We love to use PLR in our business to make things a lot more easier, right? So we're going to take a look and look, go through my PLR quality assurance checklist to make sure that they meet the par, they meet this list because you know, we only um, give out quality and we only use quality quality PLR products because there's a lot of them out there that are not good. Okay. So my job here as your coach here on this YouTube channel is to make sure that you get access to quality PLR because I want to help you to make it easy and accessible for you to create those digital products, create your journals, your books to make it super easy. Okay. So first of all, going through the website, uh, they have an amazing, a beautiful, well, she has an amazing, beautiful website. Uh, Becky is the uh, founder, the creator of this website and it is beautiful and put together. And I'm going to tell you some great things that I love about the products that she has. So yes, there is a face to the brand. You can actually learn more about her. Let's see, give me a second. I learned more about her on her YouTube channel. So um, Becky does have a YouTube channel. She's right here on YouTube. So go in and subscribe to her channel just like I did so you can learn more about PLR Beach. She actually does a lot of great content around the PLR products that she likes, which I'm going to tell you why I love hers because it definitely, definitely stands out. And then I also had an opportunity to download a planner. We're going to take a look at that as well. Okay, so there's a face to the brand. Um, and looking at the website again, very nice, easy website to go through. You can shop by the different type of PLR products. So she has coloring packs, planners, printables, digital planners. She has journals, and and of course we have bundles. So I love that she's really niched. Which that's the next one I'm going to talk about niche relevancy. She's really into the creator part of PLR. So she has planner. She has coloring packs. I want to take a look at the coloring packs here. So you're into maybe creating coloring books, coloring things. This right here, this website is definitely for you. Okay. So this is a, a great website for you to get your coloring packs here. Uh, let's see, like for instance, this is a fruit fairies coloring pack bronze. So you get 30 black and white backgrounds with, with and without the character. Okay. So I think this is amazing. Like if you're into, if you're an illustrator, maybe you help people create coloring books, um, help people create, this is going to be something for children's books. 
she has a lot of resources here to help you with this. And I love this. Um, again, she also has planners as well. What I love about her planners is they're so niche and they're so colorful. Like they are beautiful. Like who wouldn't want to sell this, right? I love that they come in packs where like, for example, this is a landlord's rental property planner. I love this. It comes with the commercial use. Okay, so make sure that you read the license so that you understand the different types of licenses okay we're going to go over that as well pricing so let's look at pricing so like for example this bundle right here let's go here this is actually a the landlord's rental property planner print bum bundle okay so this is kind of showing you what comes with it okay so what's included powerpoint uh canva template share links pdf 140 plus digital stickers made for the digital paper 30 digital paper so it comes in these sizes this is a size you can use 27 dollars like that's amazing. Now, this is for commercial use, okay? So we're going to make sure I'm going to go over what commercial use is because remember, there's different types of licenses for different type of products, okay? So this is just a little bit of going into what's included, 140 plus digital plan stickers. These are beautiful. 30 digital paper, okay? So this is what else is included here. These are the features. So you got your cover, you got your digital cover you got your account tracker password client tracker so if you like into the landlord you're a landlord this is a great planner you know for you for your uh, for your landlord and rental business okay uh let's go down so we're going to continue to go down here okay so pricing doesn't seem bad let me go to the journals let's go to the journals and see what we have here, we got this Teen Glow Glow Getter Skincare Planner. Okay, I like this for commercial use. Beautiful. I just love, I, what I really love is this stands out is the pretty, like it's, this is pretty. This is only $17 with the coupon code Teen 10. Now this is from August the 5th. So at the time of this is recording, it is, I mean, not August, April. April the 5th to the 12th. So at the time of this recording, I am recording on the 3rd. So by April the 5th through the 12th, you can get this for $17. This is a Teen Glow Getter Skin Care Planner. Okay, I love this. This is something you can maybe get for one of your teens and they can actually sell this. But let me go over the license. This is pretty. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about business longevity. So how long has this business been in operation. Sometimes you can tell most of the time at the bottom of the website, which I don't see that. I'm going to go to about, and this tells us about Becky. So you can learn more about Becky here. Um, she doesn't say, but I can, I can tell that she's no amateur. Okay. I can tell she's no amateur. Um, she does have a free Facebook group for low content publishers. So if you're into the low content, uh, business, you know, with the journals, the planners, this is probably, this is going to be a great place for you to start. Okay. So I can tell since this is just me that she's no amateur. Okay. She's no amateur. So she, the way the website is set up, the way it is. So it, it is very, very professional. You can tell that is, there's a lot of hard work put into this plan, into this website. So you know that, you know, this is a great website here and that, that, that she's probably been in business for a while. Okay. What else are we talking about? Let's go over the social proof and community engagement. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can find, let's see. She has some coaching here. Okay, that's great. Um, courses. Maybe if I click on one of the products to see if there's some social proof here which i'm i'm sure it is let's see i don't see anything here but 
you know, we could always look at social media too. Let's go to Facebook. Facebook has a place where people can actually leave reviews. But this looks like her, no, this is not her personal page, so she can you can leave reviews here. All right, so she has no reviews just yet, okay? Well, we're gonna leave our review today because I just downloaded a product, so we'll leave a reviews. And sometimes, I'm gonna tell you, um, sometimes people won't leave reviews. It's, sometimes it's hard, <laughs> you know, to get reviews which is understandable. Reviews do help to know that, you know, other people are using your products. We can gauge to see, let's see how many people are in her Facebook community. Now, I know that's not a huge gauger, but if I can see that people are interacting with the brand, um, that lets us know too. So, okay, she has 2,000, over 2,000 people in this group. So this group was created in 2020. So let, let's let assume that uh, Beach, that Beach PLR or PLR Beach was created in 2020. So she's been in business about four years, close to four years. So she, again, like I said, she's no amateur, okay? She's no amateur. I have seen amateur sites and this one is not one of those okay so very very good i love it um so sample content let's look into the sample content i did you do have an opportunity on the website to get a free planner so let's do that and i already did that part for you this is uh coaching all right so i'm gonna go over here to Hold on, let me go back to the website. All right, let's see. Shall I read it? Okay. Okay, so we got um, plrbeach.com. And no worries, I have the link in the description. Um, I am an affiliate. So when you click on my link, um, I do get commission for sharing. And this is... Um, this is the free planner. So this is what you're going to see when you get to the website. So you just click here to get access to the free planner. Put your name and your email address in and hit get planner. What you're going to do, you're going to get an email first. that's going to ask you to verify your email. So you need to confirm. So make sure that you confirm your email. If you don't confirm, you're not going to be able to get access to the free gift. Okay. So make sure that you confirm. So now it did take about maybe about two to three minutes for me to get the next email. Okay. So just to let you know, it may be a slight delay. So after you confirm, it may be a slight delay before you get it. So it took maybe about two minutes. Okay. It wasn't very long. I was uh, able to, you know, scroll. I was scrolling through my phone a little bit and then I saw the email come in. Okay. So we have here, um, this is what the email looks like. Thank, thank you for subscribing. Get your free, is this is a Sephora, Flora up. Oh, this is an undated monthly planner. Okay. Use coupon this one if necessary to get it for free. Okay. So we're going to, let me copy this one just in case. And I'm going to click here. All right, so in order, so I have to click here in order to get it free, I gotta make sure, I, well, the coupon is already there. So let me go in here to get it free. And look, she has some trip wires. So if you wanna get some other things, you can as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put my information in here. All right, so I thought you put the information in. There we go. It's going to, it's already got my subscription. It says it's been processed. So I did get it for free right here. So I'm going to quickly go over here to my emails because I had to set up an account. So that's why I had to put my name and information in because I needed to set up an account. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my email. All right, so you may get another email asking you to confirm. Go ahead and confirm because I think what it does is it's probably putting me on, um, you know, two different lists, which is fine. Okay, which is fine. 
but here's what the email looks like. So it, thank you so much for purchasing your planner. So when you purchase things from here, this is probably what it's going to look like. I have my username here and then I created my password. Then I get an option to upgrade to the deluxe planner. I think this was like $17 or so. It might have been, um, I'm not sure, I'm not going to quote, um, but you get some discounts if you upgrade. I'm going to click here to get access to my purchase, which looks right here. Okay, so this is the free download. You're going to click here to download the zip file. Okay, so we're going to download the zip file to my computer. And I seen that it had gone up, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. All right, so I open up the file. Where's the file? There, I open up the file right here. All right, so this is what it looks like. You'll see two folders. We're going to open the second folder here. This is the print planner. These are the fonts, and it says read me. So we're going to read this first because we want to make sure that we follow all directions, okay? This is the terms of use. So you have full commercial use of my products. However, you cannot resell the raw document and images to any other authors with the commercial use rights. So that means I can use this for my brand. I can you know, make changes to it and I can sell it, but I cannot um, resell the actual... Uh, planner okay so i can't so right here when i click on print planner i cannot take this and resell it to someone else okay so it looks like hers is just commercial use so that means that i cannot make changes to this okay i can't make changes to this so this that's what commercial use is that means she made it she made it and she made it for me to be able to i can get this printed for myself and possibly sell it on my own website, but I cannot make changes to it, okay? I don't see that I can make changes because it's in a PDF. Now, if it was in a Canva file, then I would be able to, you know, make the changes, but it looks like this is that's what the commercial use is. I can do that, okay? So maybe I can in this um, PowerPoint, maybe that's what that is, okay? So I just wanna make sure that I clarify for you okay so it looks like you can let me go back here to edit so this is not in canva this is actually in powerpoint this is different i have not seen in powerpoint so it looks like you can make changes uh with powerpoint it's a little bit different than canva um so i personally wouldn't make a whole lot of changes to this design i think this is a beautiful design i would probably just maybe add a name so i would add my brand name here okay let's make this a little smaller so i'm gonna highlight that that's a 48 so let's make it a 44 okay so i will put you know i'll just put my brand name there put my brand name here all right so that's the name that's what bwe stands for just for anybody that wanted to know <laughs> All right, so that's that there. So I personally wouldn't make a whole lot of changes. It, it uh, we're so because you know we're so used to Canva and being able to make changes in Canva, but this one is not a lot you can change. You can change the wording and you can possibly change the design, but I personally wouldn't change the design because I think the design is beautiful just the way it is. You know, I would sell this just like it is. Okay. Now, what she said is we can't sell the commercial rights. So that means I can't sell this planner and tell somebody, hey, I'm going to sell you this planner and you. You can use it for your brand and you use it no i can't do that i can however put my name on it and i can put it on my website and i can get it printed and i can sell it as is and saying hey you can use this planner okay but i can't sell it to say you can use it for your brand that's i hope that makes sense okay here's another one here i'm going to mm. click on it okay that one that one looks like that's having a problem okay so we're not going to open that so here's some fonts all right so she's letting us know what the fonts are okay these are the fonts so this is the body fonts nota nota serif 
um and then you got the letterhead fund okay so she's like you know where she you know where she got the fonts from if you desire to want it to change them you know use it in word which you get some options in word as well okay so that's that that's her that's the example that i wanted to show you um i think a lot of her stuff it looks like it's probably in this powerpoint but i'm going to we look at a sample and let's look at the license terms okay so let's look at the license terms about okay what is plr content she has that okay so she gives over what plr content is all right, you can buy PLR content to create articles, to create content for your newsletters, to create content for your social media. So this is a nice blog post to get yourself familiarized what PLR is, even though, you know, I stated here, but still you want to make sure that you understand and you know what PLR is and what type of licensing that she has on her website. Okay, so there is what is PLR. Let's see. There you go. And this is a lot of this here. Read over it so you can get familiar with how you can use it. Okay. Because sometimes some creators have, you know, restriction on how you can use it. Again, there's the link right there for you to get the planner for free. Okay. All right. So I want to see that she has her license down here. I see terms of use. Okay. All right. So this is the terms of use for hers is you may not resell my PLR products as PLR, such as giving out the template. All, P all templates must be saved as a PDF for use for personal use only. Okay. So this is for personal use only. This is why this is why you have to. Um, this is where I say the use of the word PLR is a little. Some people use it differently because based on her product, she has for commercial use. Now PLR is what I've explained. What PLR is, for example, um, y'all know that I love the secret weapon. Okay, the secret weapon PLR approach is a little bit different so we're going to pull up the secret weapon plr right here um, because i want to make sure that that you know what the difference is okay so for example the secret weapon plr looking at their license let me look at their license now theirs is a membership so you pay monthly to download these products okay now with the secret web and plr you can sell these as digital products so you can make money so this is what true plr is you should be able to sell what's in here you should be able to you know put them in your membership generate sales um sell as a printed document you can sell on your website you can share the resources with your clients now you cannot trademark you cannot sell you cannot sell or share as a PLR product, which is the same verbiage that she uses as well. She uses the same verbiage. You cannot transfer the master resale rights, but you can modify, okay? Now, the difference between hers, PLR, the PLR Beach, Beach PLR, I keep saying PLR Beach. Am I, am I saying it right? Yeah, PLR Beach and the Secret Weapon. So the Secret Weapon, you can actually take a product and you can actually make changes to it and then you can sell it and make money. But versus this one, um, a lot of her products say commercial use, meaning you can only use it for yourself. So I think where the confusion is uh, with PLR Beach is that we're using the word PLR but we're not able to actually fully use it as a PLR because her terms is you can, you cannot resell it, resell her products as PLR, which Secret Weapon says that too, but you have to make changes. So you can make changes to those products. Um, you have to use PLR. I mean, you have to use a PDF with her products. So I think that's where the confusion kind of lies. So it's like when you come over here to, plr beach please know that these are just for commercial use so you can only use these for your brand okay you can only use these for your brand 
So let me click here. And a lot of hers looks like she does good notes. If you guys ever heard of good notes and PowerPoint. So these are not Canva. We're used to Canva, which PLR um, secret weapon is Canva. A lot of the, the products are Canva. All right. So let me go back to the terms of use. That's the courses. Yeah, so this is where kind of the confusion kind of comes in. That I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, because, and I want to make sure that is, you know, it's clear for you as a viewer that you understand. And this is why it's important to view the license. All right. View when you are going to, and that's why I'm glad I do have this checklist because you want to make sure that on the website, they're clear about the license. They're clear. It's not need. It's not whether or not she's right and a secret weapon is wrong or vice versa. That's not, I'm not even, I don't even want to go there, but I want to say to you as a consumer, make sure you view the license. Okay. Make sure you view what you can do with the products and what you can. The great thing about PLR sites and having these sites and really operating these sites, you can pretty much do what you want in such a way. So that means you can put out how you want people to use your products. That's the great thing about being a creator. So I'm not saying PLR Beach is wrong. I will say it's not what I'm used to. However, it doesn't make hers bad. I think hers are beautiful. And I think hers are for a, a specific type of creator. So if you're into creating these beautiful planners that she has, um, if you're into you know, the printables, which I didn't get a chance to look at that. These, she has many different beautiful printables that you could just print and you can use for your business. Okay. So that means you can, you can take these planners and you can sell them, but you can, it's only, but so many changes that you can make or, or it looks like because it's for commercial use, it's for your brand only. That's, that's, I think that's where it's kind of, you want to make sure you know, so like, for instance, if you are a declutter person, okay, so maybe you are a declutter person and maybe that's your business, you could come over here and get this planner and use it for your business. So that's how I view commercial use. It doesn't mean you're able to sell it. Let's see this PLR product, which means you have full commercial rights to rebrand it how you wish. Okay. You can sell this product as a personal as a personal use planner on Etsy or teachers pay teachers. Okay. You can even turn it into a book on Amazon KDP and collect royalty payments. The only things you can't do is resell the PowerPoint template as PLR or for commercial use. Okay. So we're on the same page. You cannot sell a PDF of the planner for PLR commercial use either only selling the personal use is allowed so you can take it and you can make changes to it so you can make changes to it you can rebrand it is what she says you can sell this product as personal use a personal use planner on etsy so that means if for example if you are a coach or consultant and maybe you coach people in the cleaning and in the decluttering industry, right? You can take this, you know, add your name, your branding. If you want to, you know, make changes to the color palettes, you can do that. Okay. And you can sell it on Etsy so that other people can buy it as is. Okay, you can do that. You can put it on Amazon KDP and collect royalties, what she says, but you cannot resell the PowerPoint. So the PowerPoint that we saw inside of this uh, folder here, you can't give it to, 
you can't sell it to Becky and say, hey, you can take this right here and you can add your name and your brand into it. You cannot do that. Okay. So again, this is why it's important to read the license read the license on the website and it's very important that the creator of the plr sites have license which she does okay so we we're, we're definitely going to give her uh what's this a nine out of nine how many points she get she gets one one two three four five six seven eight nine a nine out of nine okay so a nine out of a nine we deem that PLR Beach is definitely qualified uh, for, of course, for me to continue to promote here on YouTube and qualified as a PLR site that is high quality. OK, that's what we consider high quality if, if this site meets all that is checked. OK, so going over to PLR Beach, she has amazing things here, color and packs, planners printables, digital planners. Now we understand what the commercial rights are. We understand the license and how you can use it and you can go have at it. Okay. So again, if you have any other questions or any other concerns, or if you have questions about PLR Beach, um, I'm going to link Becky's YouTube video below. And of course, I'm going to link the website in the description as well so that you can, you know, check it out some more okay so into the next review we'll see you guys in the next video bye